My old be shed. <laughs> Is the charger in there? I didn't see it. You don't see it at all. I want to fucking die. <laughs> Found it. <laughs> it's right there. I want those fucking wheels for the Mustang. If I keep the Mustang, I want those fucking wheels. When she came back, she was always in here. Working on it day and night. It was weird. It might have been therapeutic for her. It might have been doing it like, I'm going to work on this so I can convince myself I'm working on it in preparation for when he comes home. Which is both sad and honestly not unrealistic, maybe? Because she was planning on finding a way f to clear his name, I thought. Wait a minute. It was like she knew you were coming back. Uh, whoever's directing the Fast and the Furious movies, at least this one, you guys need to hire me because you're paying whoever's writing these movies way too much. I can't remember what happens in these movies, and then I'm then I call what happens right before it happens. I go, I wonder where the charger is. I'm kind of curious. I didn't see it. Oh, there it is. And then I go, oh, it's kind of like a coping mechanism. Like she was convincing herself you were going to come back. And she started acting like she knew you were, even though she wasn't actually sure. And then Mia says that in like a couple sentences, basically. And I'm just like, okay. So basically, I, I just wrote like a few lines of dialogue for free. <laughs> Essentially. Please, let this go. Before it's too late. Let me guess. Let me guess. It's already too late. It's already too late. Kabooya! Give me my money! Or a lollipop, I guess. Maybe you're lying to yourself. Maybe you're not the good guy pretending to be a bad guy. Maybe you're the bad guy pretending to be the good guy. Does that count as foreshadowing? You ever think about that? Every day. Why? What? He doesn't have to look so stoic. He's a human being. You know, I've been thinking. When you blew up your car back there, you blew up mine too. Yeah. Now, as a kid, I, I remember. I remember my father and I were watching this movie together for the first time. This scene is happening. And he and I, at the same time, say in unison, Hey, now he owes Brian a 10 second car. Like it was some kind of big revelation. I was so excited. And then... So now you owe me a 10 second car. Best day of my fucking life. Again, I could have written this, but I was so pleased with myself when I predicted he was going to say that. You ask me why I let Dom go? I think it's because at that moment, I respected him more than I did myself. One thing I learned from Dom is that Nothing really matters unless you have a code. What's your code, Brian? I'm working on it. Either I just have the movies on the edge of my memory and I recall what's about to happen right before it happens, or I could have written this. Because you go, okay, cool. I, 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 I let Dom go because of this reason. We need to think of a reason. Okay, uh, because I respect him. Why'd you respect him? Uh, because he, he, has, he has a code. Okay. We, we kind of already know what Dom's code is. What is your code? Because you're the one that's kind of wishy-washy. Well, I'm working on it. Okay. Uh, get back to me on that. Where's the boys at? That sounded a lot like the SMG gun sound effect in GTA V. Careful what you asked for! Also, I could have written that dialogue too. 